Holly Senior Living, an alternative to nursing home care that provides support for daily living. Online at hollyseniorliving.com. Greater Holly Homes is ready to show homes no matter where they are located or who has them listed. Now is a great time to buy. Give a call or visit our unique website at greaterhollyhomes.com. Rural Enrichment and Community Headquarters, Incorporated, better known as REACH, is a nonprofit human service center. Centrally located in Holly, Minnesota, its mission is to improve the quality of life for rural residents. Holly would be a great place for you and your family to live, work, and thrive. Holly, Minnesota is your ideal community. Visit us online at hollywood.com. Welcome to the Holly Area Community Show. I'm Jody, your host, and we're here at REACH in Holly, Minnesota with Jessica Clays, the new Family Support Coordinator at REACH. Welcome to the show, Jess. Thank you. Yes, so can you tell the folks a little bit about yourself since you're new to the area? Yep, um, I grew up in Gary, Minnesota, so um, I understand what it's like to live in a rural area and um, maybe have an obstacle in accessing resources when you live so far from bigger towns. It's nice to have an awareness of that. I grew up in Holly, and uh, most of the staff here are from rural areas, mm -hmm. so because so, they are different than issues in the metro area. Yes. So welcome to REACH, Thank and um, I know it's been baptism by fire, a lot going on here. So you, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on sure. during this season? Sure. Um, I'll start with our backpack program. Um, that program is provides food to children. Um, we focus on elementary age, but we do offer it to high schoolers and preschoolers. Um, and how that program works is volunteers come in and pack little plastic bags that then get coated and brought to the school. And then once it's at the school, then the teachers know the codes of the kids who are receiving the food, and the teachers then distribute the food. Um, the reason why the codes are so important is so that we keep confidentiality and people don't have to be timid about utilizing that service. Sure, so the kids actually get the food for the weekend yep. um, and a teacher will place it in their backpack or in their locker or something yep. so that they have, they can eat healthy over the weekend. Yes. And so how did you get these names of, of these children? Well, we started in the Holly area. Um, we put the name, the word out there to the school and um, the local social workers. And now we're in the works of expanding it to the Ulan Hitterdahl School also because um, we have room to serve more children. So. Wonderful. And so people can call REACH if they're in need and yes. you could put them on the list as well? Yep. Wonderful. I know there's been great support for this program because there, there is such a need in yes. the area. So what else? We're standing by a yes. tree. So oh, yeah. as you can see behind us, um, this is the tree that is decorated in ornaments that have um, ages and um, ideas of what to buy children for our Caring and Sharing program. Um, we, through Caring and Sharing, we provide uh, families and individuals with Thanksgiving food baskets, Christmas food baskets, and Christmas gifts. And our registration process is already done, and we have 80 families and individuals signed up to receive the food baskets. And we have 208 individuals signed up to receive gifts. Oh, that's overwhelming. Overwhelming, yes. Yeah. And so we're relying hugely on the community this year so to come into REACH. We have the tree set up conveniently right by the door as you walk in. So you can come and choose a slip or as many as you want to help us out um, to provide for these people who um, would so graciously accept your gifts this Christmas. These are people that might be struggling financially and just can't afford to get their children gifts or to have a Thanksgiving or a Christmas meal, yes. right? Yeah. Yep. yep, the food box actually is to provide a traditional meal. So we're going to provide the turkey, potatoes, a vegetable, stuffing, and a pie so wonderful yep. and are you doing that all, all that work yourself no or? <laughs> definitely not no um, we are relying on volunteers again um, the Holly United Methodist Church has been a big help to us and the ladies there are going to be packing the food boxes and that's where the distribution will be and then um, all our other churches in the area along with community volunteers to come in and donate gifts I know it's a, this has traditionally been done at REACH mm -hmm. in the past years, and I know it's a, a real 
a warm time of year because mm -hmm. it's the holidays and people like to find ways to give back to people in need and so we're inviting the public yes. as you said to just come in uh, we will write down the information again confidentiality is that an issue yes. here yeah. yep you will find codes written on these slips so that um, the people who are receiving the gifts their names aren't disclosed to people they may not want to know that they're signed up for the program. So Wonderful. So it's something that all, all the area communities involved with REACH can have groups or individuals or your yep. children. It's a great opportunity for children yes. to learn about giving back and not just getting gifts um, for themselves during Christmas yes. time. Wonderful. Anything else shaken? Um, I, thinking ahead to the future, um, we are looking at starting grief groups. Um, we're actually taking names for that right now. So if you know of people for, who would for be children. for children ages 6 to 18. Um, and so we're collecting names right now. We don't have details yet. Okay. And then uh, we're also looking forward to starting a volunteer driver program. So And we'll probably be talking about more of that, of that in future shows. The There's future a lot show. of buzz about that. Yep. Thank you so much, Jess. We're going to take a break. Talk with another REACH staff member about some more volunteer opportunities. Thank you so yes, much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Rural Enrichment and Community Headquarters, Incorporated, better known as REACH, is a nonprofit human service center. Centrally located in Holly, Minnesota, its mission is to improve the quality of life for rural residents of West Becker, Clay, and Norman counties by bringing important services to the people. In addition to its counseling agency, REACH sponsors the Dress for Success program, the Holly Food Pantry, and REACH Reusables Thrift Store. REACH, small communities, big hearts. Have you ever had severe hail damage that leaves your windshield looking like this? Nobody wants chips in their windshield. I can fix that. Have you ever not been able to see out of your windshield because it's raining too hard and your windshield wipers are just not getting the job done? I can fix that. Have you ever felt like your headlights were just not that bright anymore? I can fix that. When it comes to driving, distractions can be hazardous. Don't let your windshield or headlight be a distraction. I'm Steve Stoa, and I want to see your family safe on the road. Welcome back to the Holly Area Community Show. Now I'm here with Terry Olson, Hi. the program manager at REACH. And there's a little bit of buzz around here today. It's busy and we love that. We, we have volunteers it. in helping with the mailing. And we've got another gal who is doing some tagging and pricing of our Dress for Success items that do not fit in our boutique. They will get sent to the thrift store for resale to support the program. Well, I know there's quite a core at the thrift store, but they always need help Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, yes, the, the mailings periodically. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of work involved. It is, it is. Uh, we do have a family that's coming in next week to help Mary at the thrift store, a family of seven. So that'll be kind of exciting to see mom and dad and all the kids working together. So. It's fun to see kids volunteering. It's Absolutely. obviously, uh, you know, good for them to do, good for them to see what's going on right. and how they can help. Mm -hmm. So what other volunteer opportunities are there for people if they're interested? Well, of course, we always look for volunteers for our signature show, the variety show in June. So if you have a talent that you want to share with the community, just let us know. Uh, we've got new programs that we're working on. The senior driver program, um, that is one in particular that will require some volunteers. So that and other things that we have planned, we'll certainly need volunteers for. So someone, if they want to volunteer and they have questions, mm -hmm. what they can they They can just do? call the office, ask for me and anybody here would probably find them something to do. So. And even going on the website, ruralenrichment.org, um, there's a whole section right Correct, here. there yeah. is. Wonderful, well thank you Terry, and uh, good luck with your um, upcoming events and during the holiday season, and thank you for joining our show. Thank you.